people with disabilities who are having trouble finding seating. If you are sitting in the disability area and do not need that chair, which is the blue chairs, could you kindly please move to an area where we can allow our elderly and our dis disability people a place to sit? If we could please do that, that would be very, very appreciated. Thank you for your attention. There's a feeling you get when you get inspired. You feel like creating or expressing yourself. And no matter how old you are, you want to share your creativity with your friends. And maybe what you create will do some good, not just for you, but for others. The San Antonio Independent School District knows this and has the resources, the staff, and the schools to take your inspiration and make it a reality. No matter where you live, what language you speak, or where you want to go, SAISD will get you there. Register now at SAISD.net forward slash enroll or call 210-554-2660.
Hello, San Antonio ISD. Welcome to the Highlands High School Class of 2023 graduation ceremony taking place right here in the historic Alamo Stadium. It's a nice evening for a great graduation. We appreciate those of you who have arrived early. For those of you entering the stadium, please help yourself to complimentary water bottles, fans, and programs located at the home entrance of the stadium. We want to keep everyone healthy and safe, so we appreciate your support. Today's graduation ceremony is also being live streamed. To watch, you can log on to www.saisd.net backslash graduation 2023. We are streaming live right now, so check us out. And don't forget, for those of you interested in getting photos of your special graduate from tonight's ceremony, you can get them this evening by contacting our official graduation photographer, Corona Productions. You can find them at www.coronaproductions.net by phone at 210-687-9828 or look for their QR codes on signage posted at the entrance greeting tables. Also, for families with children, the next school year is fast approaching. Please register your child at one of our amazing San Antonio ISD schools. Visit www.saisd.net backslash enroll or contact us at 210-554-2660 to get more information about enrollment. In the meantime, enjoy the music and check out our images on our video screens. Our graduation ceremony will start shortly at 8 p.m. That's in about 15 minutes. At San Antonio ISD, somos un gran familia. At SASD, we are a family of schools for all families.
There's a feeling you get when you get inspired. You feel like creating or expressing yourself. And no matter how old you are, you want to share your creativity with your friends. And maybe what you create will do some good, not just for you, but for others. The San Antonio Independent School District knows this and has the resources, the staff, and the schools to take your inspiration and make it a reality. No matter where you live, what language you speak, or where you want to go, SAISD will get you there. Register now at SAISD.net forward slash enroll or call 210-554-2660. Ladies and gentlemen, pardon this interruption. We have an announcement to make. Due to the weather with the rain coming, we are going to have a 15 minute delay. We're gonna start at 8.15. We encourage you at this time to find a dry place inside the stadium underneath the foyer area, or if you'd like to go back to your vehicle, you can as well. But we're expecting a downpour of rain to come shortly, and then it'll pass. Because if you look up, there's a rainbow coming, and we believe it will pass. So please take cover, get into a dry area, and know that we're starting our graduation ceremony at 8.15. Thank you for your support with this.
There's a feeling you get when you get inspired. You feel like creating or expressing yourself. And no matter how old you are, you want to share your creativity with your friends. And maybe what you create will do some good, not just for you, but for others. The San Antonio Independent School District knows this and has the resources, the staff, and the schools to take your inspiration and make it a reality. No matter where you live, what language you speak, or where you want to go, SAISD will get you there. Register now at SAISD.net forward slash enroll or call 210-554-2660.
Ladies and gentlemen, give yourselves a round of applause. We got through this rain. Yeah. The rain is gone. My friends, let's get ready to get started. We're going to start off with the Alamo City pipes and drums as they greet us in in the traditional Highlands way. They'll be coming in right now. Good job to our Alamo City pipes and drums. Very well done. San Antonio ISD, congratulations to all our graduates, family, and friends. Yes, yes, let them hear you. We survived the rain, and we're ready for a graduation. Highlands High School way. It's a graduation night, a once-in-a-lifetime experience for all our seniors. Take a look around the stadium. We have a good crowd here tonight. No matter the rain, we're all here gathered. Let's give it up for our seniors. Let them hear you. Show them how much we appreciate them. Yes. We appreciate each of you who have come out this evening to support our proud graduates from the class of 2023 at Highlands High School, home of the Fighting Owls. Our seniors have dreamed of graduation, and it's finally here. We have nearly 300 seniors ready to get their high school diplomas. It's a big, big night. If we could please direct your attention to the staging area on the north side of the field, our Highlands graduates are about to enter the seating area on the field. As our graduates enter the stadium, let's all welcome them in and show how proud we are of them. Ladies and gentlemen, 
San Antonio ISD proudly presents the class of 2023 from Highlands High School, the pride of Southeast San Antonio.
Thank you. You may be seated. Good evening. My name is Dr. Penny Pruitt, principal of Highlands High School. On behalf of the faculty and staff, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the graduation of the class of 2023 of Highlands High School. This evening, we gather to honor 324 graduates. We are here to celebrate their learning and accomplishments and highlight the transformational role that education, coupled with strong school, family, and industry partnerships can have in the life of a young person. Our graduates have worked extremely hard for four years and have met the requirements set forth by the Texas Education Agency. This is one of the most important accomplishments to date in these young adults' lives. The faculty, staff, and administration of Highlands High School thanks you for helping to make this year's graduation ceremony a memorable celebration with your presence, whether in person or virtually. Thank you for being with us to celebrate. Buenas noches. Yo soy el Dr. Gerardo Arispe, administrador de la Escuela de Highlands High School. En nombre de nuestra directora, Dr. Pruitt, los maestros y el personal, tengo el placer de darles la bienvenida a la graduación de la clase de 2023 de Highlands High School. Esta noche nos reunimos para reconocer a 324 jóvenes que dentro de poco serán graduados de Highlands High School para celebrar su aprendizaje y sus logros y des destacar la función transformar que la educación junto con los puertos asociados escolares, familiares y industriales pueden tener en la vida de estos jóvenes. Nuestros graduados se han esforzado arduamente por cuatro años y han cumplido los requisitos establecidos por la Agencia de Educación de Texas. Este es uno de los logros más importantes hasta la fecha en las vidas de estos jóvenes. Los maestros, el personal y la administración de Highlands High School les agradece por ayudarnos a lograr que esta ceremonia de graduación de este año sea una celebración inolvidable gracias a su presencia, ya sea en persona o de forma virtual. Gracias por celebrar con nosotros. Will the audience please rise and remove your hats for the presentation of colors and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance and Pledge to the Texas Flag. The colors will be presented by Highlands JROTC and the national anthem will be sung by Nalania Wilson and Empress Garcia. Stripes 
Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. The Pledge of Allegiance and the Pledge to the Texas Flag will be presented by Janaya Perkins. Okay, are you ready? All right. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Thank you. You may be seated. I now introduce to you Pamela High, our 2023 class president, who will share tonight's reflection of gratitude. <laughs> Welcome, friends, family and faculty, and last but not least, class of 2023. I am Pamela High and happy to say this year's class president. I am here today to congratulate all of you on this milestone that we have reached. I am so proud of each and every one of you. Our class has faced challenging times all throughout our high school career. Coming in as freshmen, transitioning from crowded hallways to navigating in personal Zooms, and finally coming back to blended learning where someone was either on the computer or on a desk. Those years were marked by fear, frustration, and uncertainty. Despite these struggles, we're here today. Through these challenges, we learned the true meaning of resilience. As you enter the next chapter in your life, don't forget the pursuit of happiness and what that means to you. I'm excited to see what the class of 23 will accomplish. Maybe we'll run into each other down the line and reminisce skipping Littman's class or catch up on changes in our lives. Thank you Highlands for everything and especially for the people I have met. Congratulations class of 2023. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Board of Education, Superintendent Dr. Jaime Aquino, administration, staff, and faculty of Highlands High School, we welcome you to our 2023 commencement ceremonies. It is my privilege at this time to introduce our platform guests. Dr. Jaime Aquino, SAISD Superintendent of Schools. Christina Martinez, Board President, District 6. Alicia Sebastian, Board Vice President, District 2. Arthur V. Valdez, Board Secretary, District 4. 
Leticia Ozuna, Board Trustee, District 3. Patty Salzman, Deputy Superintendent, Office of Academics and School Leadership. And Dr. Julio Garcia, Assistant Superintendent for School Leadership Network 1. On stage representing the Highlands High School Class of 2023 are our senior class leaders. They are Nalania Wilson, valedictorian. Jesus Gonzalez, salutatorian. Janaya Perkins, class representative. And Pamela High, class president. It is now my pleasure to introduce our two most academically distinguished students of the Highlands High School class of 2023. Jesus Gonzalez, please step forward. As salutatorian of the Highlands High School class of 2023, I would like to introduce Jesus. He is the youngest of two children. He was born and raised in San Antonio. His parents are Jesus and Laura Gonzalez. Jesus's parents did not finish high school. It is for this reason that they remind him almost every day to take advantage of all the opportunities afforded to him and to continue his education. The first school Jesus attended was Jaffet Elementary which was a PK through fourth grade campus. He later transitioned into regular kindergarten at Lara Steele Elementary and attended until fourth grade. After fourth grade, Lara Steele Elementary closed and he transitioned back to Jaffet for fifth grade. Jaffet offered middle school grade levels, so he progressed through eighth grade at Jaffet. He was among the first Jaffet Academy middle school graduates and finished as the salutatorian there. Years later at Highlands High School, he is again ready to graduate as the salutatorian of his graduating class. This graduation is special not only because of the academic rigor, but because of the years of online classes and academia during a global pandemic, COVID. Throughout these 12 plus years, Jesus has had the opportunity to meet people that would become lifelong friends. From the start of the fifth grade, Jesus joined the safety patrols and moved into soccer during middle school. He was also a member of the chess club during his eighth grade year. During high school, Jesus continued his love of soccer until COVID ended the season and he took a hiatus. Additionally, Jesus was a member of the cross country team throughout his high school career. Jesus prides himself for starting the first ever Highlands High School eSports club during his junior year. In terms of accomplishments, Jesus has been named the Engineering Department Student of the Year during his junior year. He also became the first in the district to pass the Revit Autodesk certification. Additionally, Jesus has been able to pass various advanced placement exams such as U.S. History, World History, and Spanish. He has been able to pass multiple dual credit classes, and he feels proud of this accomplishment as dual cl credit classes are representative of college coursework. He feels his success in this upper-level coursework is due to the encouragement his parents bestowed upon him at an early age. Jesus's plan is not only to make his parents proud, but to hopefully one day have a job that would allow him to help his parents retire early. It is Jesus's dream to ensure his parents are cared for and do not need to worry about money or financial struggles. Jesus sees himself as highly motivated and always pushing himself to achieve more. Good grades were a personal challenge to prove he could take on more, do more, and achieve more. Upon graduation, Jesus will explore career options in the technology sector. He plans to attend UTSA and major in computer science.
I present our salutatorian, Jesus Gonzalez. When I was a kid, my mother told me I could be anyone I want to be. Turns out, identity theft is a crime. <laughs> you can't actually be anyone you want to be. The only person you can be is you. The problem with that is, a lot of us still don't know who we are or who we are yet to be. As we each cross the stage and take our diploma, I wish that this piece of paper could tell us where we are headed. Instead, all we are going to leave with today is a piece of paper. One that you will place on the wall and remind us of those long nights studying, our hybrid learning with Zoom classes, or stressing over Mr. Lippman's class. <laughs> but to be completely honest, while writing my speech for our graduating class, I realized something significant. I realized that these 12 years hold a greater meaning in our lives than a simple piece of paper found on the wall. They've been about our shared experiences and growth. They've been about hoop fests, running a cross country meet, recitals, and inviting our families to come see our greatest achievements. They've been about the embarrassments of even a presentation in Mickenberg's class, or the overwhelming desire to take a nap after lunch. So much so that you're tempted to skip your 50th exam with Catala. Those are the types of memories we will hold on to most of all. Those are the types of memories we won't lose in a week. And those are the types of memories that determine who we are and who we want to become. And I know by next month, I'll probably forget Pythagorean theorem. But I see now, it's not about the equations we memorized or the essays we wrote. It's about the skills we've gained, the lessons we've learned, and the growth we've experienced along the way. So to the 2023 graduating class, my advice to you all is to live your life in the present moment and fill your life with experiences that will leave you with joy and unforgettable memories. Go on a hike, travel to a different country, do things that you enjoy, and don't be afraid to take those risks. Find yourself by not only embracing the beauty of the unknown, but by embarking on a journey where every step we take becomes a story worth telling. To quote Master Ugwe, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, and today is a gift. That is why they call it the present. <laughs> to conclude my speech, I want to thank all the parents here today for your sacrifices to ensure your child could graduate today. Para concluir, quiero darle las gracias a los padres que están aquí hoy por sus sacrificios y asegurar que sus hijos puedan graduarse hoy. Especialmente, quiero dar las gracias a mis padres por todo lo que han hecho por mí y los sacrificios que tuvieron que hacer para nuestra familia. Los quiero mucho. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2023. Will Jesus Gonzalez's family please stand and be recognized? Thank you and congratulations. Nalania Wilson, please step forward. As valedictorian of the Highlands High School class of 2023, Nalania Wilson is well known face around Highlands High School and the surrounding community. She can best be described as outspoken, confident, and a leader. Nalania began her journey in SAISD schools as a freshman when she attended St. Philip's Early College High School her freshman year. She transferred to Highlands at the end of ninth grade, just as the pandemic approached. Moving to Highlands, Nalania had aspirations of joining the Highlands Brigade dance team but she had no idea that she would accomplish so much more. Nalania was able to achieve her dream of becoming a varsity dancer for Highlands, and she served as the colonel of the High Steppers dance team this year. She joined the Highlands All Girls Varsity Choir, Bella Voce, this year, where she landed a spot in Texas Region Choir for Soprano Ones. 
She competed at the state level for UIL choir solo and, and ensemble and received silver for her solo. Additionally, she was a member of the National Honor Society, Spanish National Honor Society, Student Council, Academic Decathlon, the JV Track Team, and Mock Trial, where her team won second place in region. Nalania's proudest accomplishment by far was her work with the Black Student Union. In March of 2022, Nalania, alongside Ethelia Caldwell and Mrs. Wright, created and maintained the first and only Black Student Union in SAISD. <laughs> Nalania served as the club's president, social manager, social media manager, excuse me, and event organizer. The group hosted several events across Highlands, such as a school-wide Black History Parade, a trivia night, and a Black History Celebration featuring a performance by the Texas Southern University Ocean of Soul Drumline. That group has been featured in local news twice and has surpassed over 200 followers on Instagram. As a result of Nalania's work with the Black Student Union, she was one of the first students featured on hashtag SAISD Familia. And her article was published on the homepage of the SAISD website. Outside of school, Nalania was and still is an active member in her church and community. She has been, been a member of Second Baptist Church for over 14 years. Throughout her time as a member, she served her church in numerous ways. On April 15, 2023, Second Baptist Church awarded her with the Second Baptist Church ML King Service Guild Christian Service Award and Drum Major Award for her service and dedication to the church. Nalania is also a member of the National Society of Black Engineers. At only 14 years old, Nalania was awarded with the Nalania Wilson Black History Award, created in her name for her work with the Mahogany Brain Challenge, where her team won first place for five consecutive years. In 2022, Nalania received several awards she received both the AP Scholar Award and the National African American Recognition Program Award from College Board. A CTE Award from her group's coding project on college admissions and equity from the Tapia Camps at Rice University. And she won Ms. Showtime from the Showtime International Dance Company. Most notably, in April of 2023, Nalania became one of 750 scholars across the country to win the Bill and Melinda Gates Scholarship, which will pay for all four years of her college. Today, Nalania makes it her mission to promote academic excellence amongst low-income and minority students. She prioritizes spreading awareness on various social issues as well as keeping herself informed about the political state of the nation. She plans to attend UCLA in the fall and hopefully double, in, double major in political science and government as well as Spanish. I present to you our valedictorian, Nalania Wilson for the class of 2023. Good evening, class of 2023. It is my greatest pleasure to stand before you tonight and give my final message as your valedictorian. Dear Highlands class of 2023, I didn't start my high school journey knowing you. You aren't the class I was supposed to graduate with. I transferred to Highlands at the end of my freshman year from an early college high school. When I tell people that I voluntarily moved from an early college high school, I'm usually met with the typical why would you do that? Or you're not gonna get the same education at a public school that you would if you were to stay here. But in my case, this was not true. I left the early college program because although it did provide a great opportunity for me to be ahead of my peers in terms of college credit, there weren't really any opportunities for me to express my other talents and it didn't adequately satisfy my outgoing personality. I'm a firm believer in the idea that your experience is what you make of it. 
if you choose to misbehave and set your priorities in other areas other than the principal reason why you started, you may not do very well. But even at age 14, I knew myself and I knew what I wanted to gain from my high school education and experience. I knew that no matter what institution I was in, I would do well because I hold myself to a high standard. So at only 15 years old, I enrolled myself in Highlands High School. Little did we know that we were about to all experience a global pandemic that would put a stop to in-person school as we knew it. As a result of this pandemic, I began my first official year at Highlands High School online, staring at all of your names on black screens. I had no friends, and I had never even set foot in our campus. But here we are tonight, together, in this stadium. It's crazy how things work out, huh? <laughs> but it isn't often that you see people like me doing major things like this. I come from a single parent household. Growing up, it was really just my mother, my younger sister, my grandmother and I. My dad struggled with severe drug abuse and domestic violence, and as a result, he went to prison and was absent for the entirety of my childhood, even up until now. The, ab the absence of a father in my life put a lot of financial strain on my mother, and it made for hard for my family to get by. But somehow, some way, my mother and my grandmother always made everything work out from driving me to every single event that I ever wanted to attend, to helping me pay thousands of dollars so that I could dance on this very field every Friday night at a football game, those incredible women made it happen. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Grandma. I love you so much. <laughs> on top of our financial struggles, I learned from a very young age that this world was not kind to people who look like me. I've dealt with my fair share of discrimination in primary and junior high. I was called the nastiest racial slurs you can imagine. I was threatened, and I even experienced physical violence. Racism is nothing new to me. Needless to say, this took a major toll on my self-esteem as a child. I had to learn how to stand up for myself from a young age because nobody else would. Now I'm a lot stronger than I was before, and although I still deal with the occasional microaggression, I attribute my current confidence and authenticity to these struggles. I think that my upbringing is one that a lot of us here can relate to, and I don't think we give ourselves enough credit for how we've managed such challenging upbringings. Now, I've accomplished a lot this year, from winning the Bill Gates Scholarship, to starting the first and only Black Student Union, I love you guys so much, to standing here before you all tonight. I'm really proud of myself, but you all should also be proud of yourselves and your accomplishments too. Let us all rejoice in the fact that we are even here today, and when we reflect on our time in high school, let's remember all of the obstacles that we've overcome. We experienced a pandemic that kept us at home, drastically altering the way that we socialize and learn. We've experienced gun violence on a scale so massive that we have had to hide in classroom corners, fearing for our lives, not knowing if we would make it out alive. As a result of these problems, our class has experienced a nexus of mental health issues stemming from the trauma of lockdowns, quarantining for nearly a year and a half, and the growing pains of high school in general. But without forgetting these struggles, we should also remember the good moments. Every pep rally, the Friday night lights, the study sessions, all the parties, every moment that made us smile. Once we leave this field tonight, we're going to go our separate ways. Some of us will travel out of state to University UCLA, I'm ready for you. And some of us will remain here. Some of us will take on the family business or go to a trade school, while others will be time, become full-time parents or full-time employees. These are all perfectly valid paths, and none of you should let anyone tell you otherwise. But class of 2023, I beg of you, never, ever, ever forget where you came from, as remembering your roots will keep you humble and serve as a reminder of how far that you have come. I have no doubt that we as a class will continue to walk on the path of greatness and continue to overcome whatever comes our way. I want to close this speech by thanking those closest to me who have helped me get thus far. To my family, my church family, my black student union and my dance team family, and to my best friend Ethelia Caldo who has been there through every second for me, I love you. Words cannot express how grateful I am for all of you. To Ms. Wright, Mr. Lippman, Mr. Mickenberg, Ms. Castaneda, Mr. Knowlton, Mr. Cerda, and Ms. Hernandez, thank you. Thank you guys for being my shoulder to cry on, but also my shoulder to laugh on, for believing in me and supporting me when I couldn't do it myself. Thank you for everything. It is because of you that I am here on this stage. Class of 2023, it's been a wild ride being an owl man, but I cannot wait to be a Bruin. 
Highlands. I'm so grateful for you and for everything that you've done for me. I love you all so much, and no matter what, we will always be ours at heart. Thank you. Will Nalania Wilson's family please stand and be recognized? Thank you and congratulations. At this time, we would like to recognize the outstanding achievement of the class of 2023. I call your attention to the list of honor graduates in the program. These students are the top 10 academically ranked in their class and are graduating with the highest honors. Please hold your applause until the entire group is standing. Nalania Wilson. Jesus Gonzalez, Adriana Alvarado, Leslie Carrillo Hernandez, Brianna Swintek, Zeta Mendoza, Hewan Tran, Kayla Espinoza, Michelle Parales, and Rihanna Swintek. Thank you. Please stay standing. In addition to recognizing our top 10 students, we will also recognize students in the top 10%. At this time, will the graduates that are in the top 10% please stand? Thank you. Please be seated. Next, we would like to recognize a group of students who represent those who have met the very highest standard in their academic achievement. Please hold your applause until the entire group is standing. Students who are graduating with the summa cum laude designation, please stand. Thank you, please stay standing. In addition to recognizing our students graduating with the highest academic honors, we would like to recognize our students graduating with distinguished academic honors, magna cum laude and cum laude. At this time, will the graduates that are graduating magna cum laude please stand and remain standing. Those graduating cum laude, please stand. Thank you. You may be seated. We would like the members of the National Honor Society to please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. Highlands High School is a proud participant in the San Antonio Educational Partnership Cafe College Program. This program is sponsored by a variety of businesses and organizations in San Antonio. Each year, they give thousands of dollars to our students for scholarships. We would like to ask the 88 students who are receiving a San Antonio Educational Partner Scholarship to please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. Good evening, class of 2023. I am honored to stand before you tonight as we celebrate you. It brings me tremendous happiness to see each of you here tonight. Your determination and hard work has led you to being here today with your family and friends watching. You are about to embark on your journey into the rest of your life. Some of you will go to college, some of you will go into the military, and others of you will go to vocational school or enter the workforce. Whatever you decide to do, remember 
always give your very best effort. If you always choose to give your best, you will be successful no matter what you choose. Hard work and perseverance are the key to success and none of that happens overnight. There are some golden rules you should always live by. First, be honest. If you are honest with yourself and others, you can move forward in life knowing you did the right thing. Second, be kind to others. There is already enough negativity in the world and you can help change that with a few kind words. Remember, it is okay to agree to disagree, but always be civil in your discourse. Third, value diversity. When we value each other's differences, we not only learn more about others, but about ourselves as well. Valuing diversity only helps to build a better, stronger society. Fourth, Work hard and be a team player. Be the kind of person you want to have on your team. Finally, remember, it takes a lifetime to build a reputation and a second to destroy it. This quote is from a colleague of mine whose seventh grade teacher used to tell his students that. I tell you this because I want to encourage you to think before you act pause before you speak, and hesitate before you post. A few, street, a, for a few key strokes on social media can have a lifetime of negative consequences for you. You are an amazing group of young men and women, and you have the ability to use your experiences to change this world and make it better for all of us. Seniors, know that we are proud of you and we love you. Parents, family, friends, and teachers, thank you for encouraging and supporting these young people we see before us. At this time, Trustee Leticia Ozuna, board member of the San Antonio Independent School District Board of Education, please come forward to accept the Highlands High School Class of 2023. Good evening, proud parents, distinguished guests, Superintendent Aquino, Dr. Pruitt, and all of my fellow trustees, dedicated faculty, and the exceptional graduating class of Highlands High School. Ladies and gentlemen, graduation is not just a time for celebration, but it's also a time for reflection and some compassion. The journey that you have undertaken has been filled with the normal academic pressures, the extracurricular demands, the personal struggles. You faced intense competition and felt the weight of expectations. And you've experienced moments of self-doubt. And this class, in particular, has come through a most extraordinary time that we've just mentioned briefly in passing. You are the survivors of the COVID generation and here we are, this is wonderful. And I kind of want to, can't help but think that there's been some toll, right, on, on our mental health, not all of our mental health. And I just want to use this little window where I have with you to just recognize the significance of that in your lives, of taking care of yourself. The Surgeon General in 2021, when all of this was happening, put out a public health advisory that said the devastating mental health crisis among American youth was made worse by COVID-19. Overexposure to social media, sleep habits, unhealthy food, financial instability, bullying, academic pressures, ah, the list goes on. When I was a student, right, like we didn't have social media. I, I came up before TikTok. I, there was no Instagram. Okay, I'm so old that the Spurs hadn't even yet made one national championship. And I told my parents, even at that time as a teenager, you know, I feel lonely and isolated and apart. They didn't 
understand what I meant. They didn't take me seriously. And they told me, ah, oh, well, if you go watch a horror movie, at some point, you'll feel like you're being watched and you won't be alone anymore. That was not helpful. <laughs> and it can be difficult to openly discuss the struggles or seek help. But I just want to let you guys know that even when you leave and you pull the tassel, you're not alone. We are a community. And we're bound by shared experiences and the knowledge that we can support one another through the darkest of times. It's crucial, right, that you walk away knowing that you can foster an environment of understanding and empathy where looking for help is seen as a sign of strength and not weakness. And we all, all have a responsibility to break down the barriers that prevent us from reaching out to one another and create spaces where our voices can be heard and our feelings validated. To the graduates who have faced mental health challenges, and I know you're out there, I want you to know that your struggles don't define you. You guys, you're here, you're strong, you're resilient, and you're capable of overcoming any obstacle that stands in your way. As you embark on this new chapter, prioritize your well-being Nurture not just your minds, but your hearts and your souls. Take the time to practice self-care. Prioritize your mental and emotional health. Surround yourself with positive influences. Engage in activities that bring you joy. And remember, it's OK to ask for help when you need it. There is no shame in seeking support, whether it be from friends, family, your faith community, or professional resources. Be vigilant in looking out for one another. A simple act of kindness, a genuine conversation, or a listening ear can make an immense difference in someone's life, and even your own. Reach out to your peers in person and in face, and face to face whenever possible. Check in, not just on TikTok, or I, I know Facebook is for the old people, but not just on social media, face to face. And let people know that they're not alone. Together, we can create a supportive and compassionate community. As you embark on the next phase of your lives, carry the lessons learned from your struggles and be advocates for mental health. Spread awareness, promote acceptance. And by sharing our stories, we inspire others to do the same, fostering an environment of understanding and empathy. There's a quote that there is no such thing as a small act of kindness. Every act creates a ripple with no end. You guys, and we've said this before, are not just graduates. We educated you to be change makers, to be advocates, to be leaders of tomorrow. Your voices matter, and you have the power to shape the world around us. My hope is to celebrate not only your achievements, but the resilience that has brought you to this point. Together, we can create a world where mental health is valued, where seeking help is encouraged, and where compassion reigns. May your futures be bright, your hearts be light, and your mental well-being be nurtured every step of the way. Congratulations, class of 2023. Would the class, oh. Would the class of 2023 please stand? <laughs> Ms. Leticia Ozuna, I do hereby certify that all of the students standing before you this evening have met the state requirements for the completion of high school and graduation from Highlands High School. By the authority vested in me, I hereby accept the recommendation of the faculty and administration of Highlands High School and declare the assembled candidates qualified for the award about to be presented. On behalf of the Board of Education, I would like to extend my personal congratulations 
to each member of the Highlands High School class of 2023 and wish you continued success. Go Owls! You may be seated. Seniors, this is the moment your families and you have been waiting for. Families, please join me in making graduation a memorable occasion by recognizing our outstanding graduates with your applause as they cross the stage. Graduates, faculty, and staff, Members will assist you as you come up to the stage one row at a time. Will the graduates of 2023 please come forward? First row. Nalania Niana Wilson will be attending the University of California, Los Angeles, recipient of the Gates Millennium Scholarship. Jesus Gonzalez earned certification in Autodesk Revit and will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio, recipient of the UTSA Distinguished Presidential Scholarship. Adriana Nicole Alvarado, earned a certification as a security officer and will be attending Texas State University, recipient of the Texas State Merit Scholarship. Leslie Giselle Carillo Hernandez will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio, recipient of the UTSA Distinguished Presidential Scholarship. Brianna Marie Swintek will be attending Texas A&M University Corpus Christi, recipient of A&M Corpus Christi Achievement Scholarship. Zeta Alexis Mendoza will be attending the University of Texas at Austin, recipient of the Dell Scholars at UTS, UT Austin. Hewan Mai Tran earned certification in Autodesk Revit and will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio, UTSA Distinguished Presidential Scholarship. Kayla Rose Espinoza will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio, recipient of the UTSA grant. Michelle Brianne Perales will be attending the University of Texas at Austin, recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship. Rihanna Lynn Swintek will be attending Texas A&M University Corpus Christi, recipient of the A&M Corpus Christi Achievement Scholarship. Janaya Ane Perkins will be attending St. Edwards University. Pamela High will be attending Texas State University. Empress Romance Garcia. Jacob Jesus Cardenas Jr. Teresa Ann Cedillo. Robert Isaac De Leon. Raul Rene Dominguez.
Shayla Rose Ortiz. Elizabeth Arlene Ramos. Lindsay Venicia Rangel Moreno. Angel Gabriel Terrazas. Jalen Carey Adams will be attending Texas A&M University, San Antonio. Xavier Maximus Aguilar will be attending Fitchburg State University. Christian Diego Aguirre will be attending San Antonio College. Michael Anthony Aldarete. Sebastian Almaguer earned certification as a security officer. Annalisa Nadine Alonso. Wester Alvarado Ramirez will be attending St. Philip's College. Lupita Ariano will be attending St. Philip's College. Jose Ariaga Jr. Jose Adrian Aviles Elisea will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. John Michael Balverde Jr. earned certification in Autodesk Revit. Jasmine Elaine Banda will be attending Palo Alto College. Lilith Ray Banda will be attending Palo Alto College. Andrew Asher Barrera earned certification as a security officer and will be attending San Antonio College. Caden Jeremiah Battle will be attending the University of Houston. Riley Paul Beckham. Veronica Marie Benavides will be attending Palo Alto College. Macy Nicole Bilkey Henson. Ebony Irene Bracken will be attending the University of Maine. Giovanni Isaiah Briseño. <laughs> India Bryant will be attending Prairie View A&M University. Ethelia Christine Caldwell will be attending Texas Christian University. Mary Jaden Caldwell. Audrey Ann Campos will be attending St. Philip's College.
Guillermo Camposano Arellano, earned certification in Autodesk Revit and will be attending St. Mary's University. Adam Christopher Cantu, earned certification as security officer and will be attending St. Philip's College. Blanca Isabel Carter, earned certification as a medical assistant and will be attending Palo Alto College. Chastity Hope Castaneda will be attending San Antonio College. Berenice Castellanos. Evan Isaiah Castillo will be attending St. Philip's College. Marissa Marie Castillo will be attending Palo Alto College. Lee Castillo III enlisted in the United States Army. Edwin Alexander Castro. Giovanni Castro will be attending Northwest Vista College. Genesis Hope Cavazos, earned certification as an educational aide, will be attending Our Lady of the Lake University. Edgar Zuniga Cervantes will be attending St. Philip's College. James Chapa. Miguel Angel Chapa Jr. Cesar Chavez will be attending St. Philip's College. Brianna Deani Cisneros earned certification in Microsoft Office Specialist Word and will be attending Palo Alto College. Joel Michael Cisneros earned certification in OSHA construction and will be attending St. Philip's College. Jeremiah Dale Cisneros II earned certification as a security officer. Joseph Lamont Clay Jr. Omarion Deshaun Clay earned certification in Autodesk Revit and will be attending Prairie View A&M University. Aiden Andrew Colonga will be attending San Antonio College. Brianna Jaylene Contreras. Victor James Cordova earned certification in Autodesk Revit. Vincent Paul Cordova. Angel Benito Corona will be attending St. Philip's College. Brianna Modesty Angel Coronado. Lainey Sky Cortez will be attending St. Philip's College.
Lorenzo Tomas Cortez earned certification in entrepreneurship and small business and enlisted in the United States Navy. Xavion Arnez Crawford will be attending St. Philip's College. Elijah James Cruz. Beverly Yoeli Cruz Galeas will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Diana Itzul Cuellar Alonso will be attending Northwest Vista College. Jesus Gonzalo, Gonzalo de Hoyos III, pursuing a career in welding. Jesse Robert de la Cruz will be attending St. Philip's College. Fabian Xavier Andres de la Garza will be attending St. Philip's College. Azalea Ayana de la Torre earned certification as a security officer and will be attending St. Philip's College. Tien de Leon. Justin Daniel Devilbis. Shelby Ann Devora earned certification in Microsoft Office Specialist Word and will be attending Texas State University. Josue Armando Diaz Uscanga. Bethany Jewel Edwards will be attending Houston Tillotson University. Azalea Marie Elizardo earned certification in Microsoft Office Specialist Word and will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Gabriel Elizondo. Dominic Orlando Esparza earned certification in Microsoft Office Specialist Word. Celeste Bella Esquivel will be attending Texas A&M University, San Antonio. Madison Elizabeth Estevez will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Pedro Estrada Jr. will be attending St. Philip's College. Ethan Manuel Fimat will be attending St. Philip's College. Angel Amor Flores earned certification in Microsoft Office Specialist Word. Eduard Flores. Esteban Ray Flores. Amaris Lee Garces earned a certification in knowledge-based floral skills and will be attending Palo Alto College. Edward James Garcia will be attending St. Phillips College. Eli Alexander Garcia will be attending St. Philip's College. Elizabeth Guadalupe Garcia earned a certification as a security officer and will be attending Texas State University. Penelope Alize Garcia will be attending Texas A&M University, San Antonio. Reina Yamaira Garcia will be attending Palo Alto College. Ezekiel Garcia III earned a certification as a security officer.
Ashley Adamati Garza will be attending St. Philip's College. Diego Silva Garza. Joanne Isabel Garza earned a certification in knowledge-based floral skills. Jonas Garza will be attending St. Philip's College. Fernando Andres Garza Jr. Michael Anthony Gideons earned a certification as a security officer and will be attending Northwest Vista College. Matthew David Gillette will be attending St. Philip's College. Raymond Alejandro Gloria will be attending St. Philip's College. Angel David Gomez will be attending St. Philip's College. Jacob Zachary Gomez will be attending San Antonio College. Sirena Adriana Ruby Gomez earned a certification as a security officer and will be attending San Antonio College. Xavier Rene Gomez will be attending St. Philip's College. Laura Yamileth Gomez Salinas will be attending Del Mar College. Isaiah Gonzaba earned a certification in knowledge-based floral skills and will be attending St. Philip's College. Jaden Anthony Gonzalez earned certification in Nesser Corps and will be attending St. Philip's College. Desiree Ann Gonzalez will be attending St. Philip's College. Diego Armando Gonzalez earned a certification in knowledge-based floral skills. Jesus Israel Gonzalez earned a certification as security officer and will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Justine Brianne Gonzalez earned certification in knowledge-based floral skills and will be attending Palo Alto College. Jose Angel Gonzalez Jr. will be attending American Musical and Dramatic Academy. Cameron Elliott Green will be attending Texas State University. J. Edward Guerrero earned a certification as a security officer. Johnny Manuel Guerrero Jr. Jaslyn Leanne Gutierrez. Jose Luis Gutierrez III earned a certification as a security officer and will be attending San Antonio College. Kirsten Brianne Guzman earned certification as a security officer and will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Brianna Rose Hernandez will be attending St. Philip's College. David Hernandez. David Angel Hernandez will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Gabriel Ray Hernandez will be attending St. Philip's College. Gavin Christian Hernandez will be attending St. Philip's College. Lisette Lily Hernandez earned certification as security officer and will be attending Palo Alto College. 
Miranda Marie Hernandez will be attending Palo Alto College. Ramses Cor Hernandez. Jimena Noemi Hernandez will be attending the University of the Incarnate Word. Norma Lydia Hernandez Tobar will be attending San Antonio College. Jacob Anthony Herrera. Jesselyn Herrera will be attending St. Philip's College. Calvin Holmes. Trayvon Jordan Howard will be attending San Antonio College. Jeremiah Eugene Huerta. Melissa Huerta earned certification in CompTIA Fundamentals and will be attending St. Philip's College. Reina Crystal Isidro earned certification in Microsoft Office Specialist Word and will be attending San Antonio College. Jesus Islas earned certification in Entrepreneurship and Small Business and will be attending the University of the Incarnate Word. Kennedy Carrion Lamont Jackson will be attending McPherson College. Ephraim Jaramillo IV earned certification in entrepreneurship and small business. Hannah Marie Jimenez will be attending St. Philip's College. James Epi Jimenez will be attending San Antonio College. Nathaniel Basilio Jimenez. Penelope Yahaira Jimenez earned a certification in knowledge based floral skills. The Anthony Ray Johnson earned a certification as a security officer and will be attending Fulton College. Jada Christine Kelly earned a certification as a medical assistant and will be attending Peer Review A&M University. Alexander Lee Lara earned a certification as a security officer and will be attending San Antonio College. Jesus Adrian Lara will be attending St. Philip's College. Faith Harmony Lewis. Vicente Ismael Limon. George Ray Lopez. Hector Aiden Lopez. Javier G. Lopez Jr. will be attending St. Phillips College. J. Charles Louis Jr. Marisol Lugo Regalado earned a certification as a security officer and will be attending Palo Alto College. Aileen Damaris Luna. Jorge Orlando Luna earned a certification in entrepreneurship and small business. Rosalie Alexis Machuca Carrion will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Adolfo Angel Madrid enlisted in the United States Navy. Brinda Magallanes Bautista will be attending Texas A&M University, San Antonio. Jesse James Maldonado will be attending St. Philip's College. 
Savannah Alyssa Maldonado will be attending San Antonio College. Jacob E. Maltos. Jose R. Manjares earned a certification in Autodesk Rivet and will be attending San Antonio College. Beatrice Eileen Martinez will be attending St. Philip's College. Celia Chloe Martinez will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Emelise Teresa Martinez earned a certification as a medical assistant and will be attending St. Philip's College. Emily Candelaria Martinez will be attending the University of the Incarnate Word. Kevin Eliseo Martinez will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Serena Justine Martinez earned a certification as security officer and will be attending the University of the Incarnate Word. Victoria Haley Martinez earned a certification as a security officer and will be attending Texas A&M University at San Antonio. Aliyah Madeline Mata will be attending St. Philip's College. Aurora Dawn Mejia earned a certification as a security officer. Jaden Ray Mena will be attending St. Philip's College. Cesar Alexander Mendez will be attending San Antonio College. Alexis Jordan Mendoza earned a certification as a security officer and will be attending San Antonio College. Allison Victoria Mesquetic earned a certification as an educational aide and will be attending Texas A&M University at San Antonio. Eliana Miranda earned a certification in entrepreneurship and small business and will be attending Palo Alto College. Samajay Navea Mitchell will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Isaiah Noel Molina. Karina Patricia Moncayo will be attending St. Philip's College. Jada Monroe. <laughs> Olivia Ariana Monsivayas. Chastity Annabelle Montelongo earned a certification in Microsoft Office Specialist Word and will be attending Texas A&M University at San Antonio. Adam Ray Mora. Joseph Daniel Morales will be attending Texas State University. Stephanie Jocelyn Morales. Josue Abraham Moreno will be attending St. Philip's College. Madeline Rose Maureen. Dylan James Moya will be attending St. Mary's University. Danny Murillo. Nikolai Matthew Nario will be attending St. Philip's College. Estella Nuno earned a certification in knowledge-based floral skills and will be attending St. Edwards University. Myrily Angelica Ojeda will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Mary Jane Alize Olivares will be attending Palo Alto College. Jacob Lee Orozco earned a certification as a security officer. Litsy Marie Ortega earned a certification as a medical assistant and will be attending Texas 
A&M University College Station. Cassandra Ann Ortiz will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Gabriela Ortiz. Jacob Rojolio Ovalle will be attending St. Philip's College. Jacqueline Ovalle Romero will be attending San Antonio College. Armani Desene Overton enlisted in the United States Army. Delvin Ruben Pacheco will be attending St. Mary's University. Mayra J. Nicole Badia will be attending Palo Alto College. Pedro Manuel Palacios III. Jennifer Nicole Pena earned a certification as a medical assistant and will be attending the University of the Incarnate Word. Isaac John Pena II earned a certification as a security officer and will be attending San Antonio College. Annalise Nicole Perez earned a certification in Microsoft Office Specialist Word and will be attending Texas A&M University, San Antonio. Saul Aziz Perez Hernandez. Sir K. Abraham Pinson Todd. Amanda J. Folendo earned a certification as an educational aide and will be attending St. Philip's College. Ismael Posada enlisted in the United States Navy. Pilar Abigail Prado Guerrero earned a certification as a security officer and will be attending Texas A&M University, San Antonio. Damian Ramirez will be attending St. Philip's College. Jordan Dominic Ramirez will be attending San Antonio College. Oscar Peña Ramirez. Carlos Manuel Ramos will be attending St. Philip's College. Elijah Ray Ramos will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Trinity Ramos will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Isaiah Manuel Reyes will be attending St. Mary's University. Jacob Eduardo Reyes earned a certification as a security officer and will be attending San Antonio College. Leonardo Reyes Jr. Miranda Marie Reina. David Ray Rincon earned a certification as a security officer and will be attending St. Philip's College. Jasmine Angel Rios will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Mirka Rivera will be attending Texas A&M University at San Antonio. Natalie Ann Rivera will be attending St. Philip's College. Elijah Xavier Roberto will be attending St. Philip's College. Jesus Mariano Robles earned a certification in Autodesk Rivet. Aiden James Rocha. Angel Hope Rodriguez earned a certification 
in Microsoft Office Specialist Word. Ayana Rodriguez. Eliza Marie Rodriguez earned a certification as an educational aide and will be attending St. Mary's University. Jacob Anthony Rodriguez earned a certification in Autodesk Rivet and will be attending San Antonio College. Joshua Ricardo Rodriguez will be attending San Antonio College. Kayla Gianna Rodriguez will be attending St. Phillips College. Lilani Angeli Rodriguez. Lily Grace Rodriguez will be attending the University of Texas San Antonio. Matthew Anthony Rodriguez will be attending the University of the Incarnate Word. Mercedes Alicia Rodriguez. Richard Rodriguez will be attending San Antonio College. Ruby Renee Ruiz. Anesty Unique. Salazar would be attending Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. Mariah Angeline Salazar will be attending the College of Cosmetology. Sean Eric Salazar. Pablo Nathan Saldana, Jr. Adriana Danielle Sanchez will be attending the University of the Incarnate Word. Alexis Rose Sanchez will be attending St. Philip's College. Marisol Alexis Sanchez earned a certification as a security officer and will be attending the University of Houston, Victoria. Storm Lily Sanchez will be attending the University of the Incarnate Word. Tommy Sanchez will be attending St. Philip's College. Saira Sanchez Briseño will be attending Palo Alto College. Laura Anaí Sanchez Nunes will be attending Texas State University. Renee Sanchez Sanchez will be attending, enlisted in the United States Army. Ivan Alexander Sancho. Claudio Gabino Sandoval Rodriguez. <laughs> David Alejandro Santillan Gorion will be attending St. Philip's College. Grace Lynn Satterwhite earned a certification as a security officer and will be attending St. Mary's University. Leon Anthony Sadi White. Ismerelda Marie Schlegel earned a certification in Microsoft Office Specialist Word and will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Misari Abigail Siani. Juan Javier Cepeda earned a certification as a medical assistant. Caitlin Liliana Schaefer. J. 
Jacob Atreyu Silva will be attending Palo Alto College. Alexander Rene Silvas will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Matthew Cervera Tavares will be a, earned a certification as a security officer. Esteban Tafoya will be attending St. Philip's College. Justin Joe Torres will be attending St. Mary's University. Johnny Raymond Torres Jr. Etrium Efer Trujillo will be attending St. Philip's College. Aubrey Virginia Valdez earned a certification as a educational aide and will be attending Palo Alto College. Jessica Vallejo will be attending Texas State University. Elijah Jerome Vargas. Billy Joe Vasquez Jr. earned a certification in auto desk rivet. Arcelino Francisco Vasquez will be attending Barber School. Ruth Abigail Vidari Cortez will be attending San Antonio College. Angelique Lynn Velma will be attending Palo Alto College. Joseph Ashton Villanueva. Bethany Elise Viegas will be attending Palo Alto College. Rafael Isaí Viramontes. Gabriel Vitala will be attending St. Philip's College. JT Latrell Williams. Andrew Jacob Zamora earned a certification as a security officer. Fernando Zamorano Jr. earned a certification as a security officer and will be attending the University of the Incarnate Word. Jessica Dynasty Gonzalez. Noemi Hernandez will be attending St. Philip's College. Bryant Acevedo will be attending St. Philip's College. Fabian Xavier Angulo will be attending Palo Alto College. Damaris Alejandra Gonzalez will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Vincent Michael Rodriguez will be attending St. Philip's College. Dijon George Guillory will be attending St. Philip's College. Christopher Luis Hernandez will be attending Palo Alto College. Eruviel Everalvo Gonzalez earned a certification in Microsoft Office Specialist Word and Entrepreneurship in Small Business. Lexi Ann Mello earned a certification in Knowledge Based Floral Skills and will be attending Palo Alto College. Christopher George Hernandez will be attending St. Philip's College.
Will the audience please rise and join us in singing the Highlands High School alma mater. The words to the Highlands alma mater are located in your program and will be sung by Nalania Wilson and Empress Garcia. be seated. Pamela High, class president, will now lead the graduates in the turning of the tassels. Will the class of 2023 please stand? Thank you for joining us this evening in Highlands High School tradition of taking care of the community. We ask that you help us leave the stadium in beautiful condition for the next commencement ceremony. Drive safely and have a great evening. Graduates, please follow your class leaders as we recess. <laughs> 